morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog actually good afternoon or good evening by the time i'm posting this if you're watching whilst i've just posted it is the evening um starting off this weekly vlog um straight after my holiday i got back last night i had a little poke bowl and i've had a really slow morning just trying to sort everything out i've just planned for today and tomorrow to just be a proper sort out day and then we're getting back into the swing of things on wednesday i've got a lot of editing a lot of parcels which i thought i'd start this vlog with just to go through them all with you because it is quite an accumulation but and then i've got loads of returns and things like that to do washing is drying everywhere it's manic but i just thought i'd pick up the camera start the weekly vlog i actually had a really lovely morning usually on a monday myself and helena would do a workout with her mum and godmother but today i've just really decided i just wanted to go for a long walk really stretch out my legs listen to a couple of podcasts and I bought a coffee, got some breakfast bits. It's a really nice way to start Monday. Monday morning when you've got holiday blues, it's so gloomy outside. And yeah, I just feel like I need to get my life back in order. So I'm gonna start vlogging today because I think this is gonna be a really good way for me to be proactive. I'm also gonna do, as well as I've got loads of edit editing to do, at some point this week, I'm going to do a big detox of my wardrobe. I pretty much did a big detox when I was kind of looking at all my summer stuff. I just had a another <laughs> accumulation apparently this is my word today of the holiday stuff that i've just collected over the years which i always think i'm going to use but i just never do and i basically this holiday laurie and i if you, i think i might have posted it i don't know if i did or not i was packing we're basically sharing a suitcase and so i had to be really strict on what i was oh poor was my mama apologies for that my mum just called oh i miss her so much especially as well like i feel like i'm having a proper catch up with you um the place that we were staying in laurie's apartment sorry i keep pitching touch my nose at the moment i we got the test done the two days before we flew back and my nose feels like there's it's blocked with something up there it feels so itchy and just so like so if i touch my nose i'm not picking it i just feel like an urge to because their thing they put your nose for the test anyway but yeah so we did have wi-fi we didn't so it was a bit of a it was just very annoying but oh well it's fine is this brand love raw they got a new up and coming um chocolate brand and they basically do those bueno you know like kinder bueno like wafer chocolates they basically do the good versions of them like healthy vegan no artificial nonsense no palm and they look like the branding looks like this oh my god they are incredible i think i tried their buttercups with you um unfortunately they are not gluten free i don't believe so i can't eat them but helena and laurie definitely can yeah i can't eat these um but still thank you so much for sending these over i'm sure hells and laurie We'll devour these. Also got a parcel from Wren, which is always lovely. We love Wren. And this is in celebration of their new plant alternative to retinol. Six skin benefits, firms, even plumps, smooths, and improves for elasticity and visible reduce. Ooh, oh wow. I love when they get creative with their PR things. It's so fun. So, oh my God, I can plant stuff. Yay. Like that. So we have the Youth Cream, Youth Serum, and the Youth Retinol. Next one. <laughs> Heavy. What also is quite nice. It's not nice because I've literally just got home and Hells has gone to work, which is like really sad. Um, I haven't seen her in so long and I miss her so much. But I feel like I'm not in her way. She's gone down to the office um, a couple days a week, which is kind of handy with my work so I can kind of spread out. And like, especially like today, I've got so much to do. I'm just throwing everything everywhere, so I don't feel guilty that she's seeing her. Hello, Amelia. I hope you, you love your new planner and notebook and that they will make help make 2020 your, two, 2022 your best year ever. With love, Carrie. Oh my God, I am so excited. I have one of these books already, diaries already, and it's like the best thing. Bless her. She kindly sent me a notebook, a manifesting notebook, which is beautiful. They come in different colours, but I went for a pink. Usually I'd go for like something a little different, but that is perfect. I needed a new book. 
So this is Karen Co. I'll leave everything that I featured down below. Dream big, darling, and then go make wonderful things happen. So lovely. Such a lovely lady. I got the pink, same size as my grey one, but in the pink version. So ready to go. And what I love about these books, I think I vlogged when I last got this. But it's really clever and it's just really organised. Like, has incredible organisational, like, methods on here and productivity. Also, as well, it has, like, 2022 goals. So you can, like, chat about them money goals marketing goals so it's really good for people who are obviously in like maybe the social media world but also as well if you are in let's say a blog fashion you have a product line um it's really good for kind of like annotating and kind of looking at tracking your your goals for marketing for like social media and things like that so i really love it and it's just so good and every week which i love the most is they'll have a this day is like the whole week and then each day has a good timetable and then like a notes page very very handy massive thank you to the lovely Carrie and co for sending that over i'm gonna put that back in this box so it's protected for next year oh my goodness i can't believe we're already talking about 2022 already okay so next up from sweaty betty time i know i can never say the name a quick a key a key this one here they've done a collaboration with sweaty betty on these towels which is very handy so obviously they're really good for your hair i already have one already and i absolutely love this but i think this is one designed for if you're going to the gym quickly wick away sweat and moisture before during or after your workout with the ultimate active towel oh i see so it's one you take into the gym with you that's very clever so if you get sweaty or anything like that it comes like with a little little tag as well that's amazing love the material love the camouflage print i also got my update for my next prescription from skin and me so this is for my next month so i need to keep that separate i don't need to open it just yet because i still need to finish off my next one. Ooh, urban decay this is the urban decay cyber palette oh this is fun look at that i really need to delve back into my makeup i miss it so oh how beautiful i'm just gonna hold this just in case how beautiful is that palette you can see yourself hello <laughs> um that is beautiful that's absolutely stunning <gasps> thank you so much um okay that is i literally that i think that's one of my biggest brands that i still get shocked that i get center because i used to be such a massive urban decay fan and like when i when i when i was younger i'd save up my money to buy an urban decay eyeshadow palette because they were just the bomb oh here it is oh i was supposed to open this with a key a key a quiz i hope you know what i mean but basically um but yeah back to urban decay yeah it was one of those brands i used to save up for i was like a massive fan of so the fact that now they send me palettes is just incredible um so a quiz i'm gonna learn how to say i'm gonna leave the logo on the screen green and um, i have one of the towels anyway because they're basically designed to be very supportive and protecting with your hair when you put your hair up after you wash it the reason being i wonder if they have actually a oh that looks so cute uh, unwrap shinier healthier hair our naturally antimicrobial hair wrap eliminates frizz damage and breakage caused by harsh terry towels bonus stays clean thinner longer and cuts air drier time in half making your life easier and your hair healthier Healthier, one shower at a time woven with antimicrobial comfort sure no chemical coating and uh, performance dry and odor resistant so they've kindly got in contact with me to send me their newest design which is very exciting and I think it's designed to be like wrapped around your hair perfectly so one the one I have was kind of like the previous one where it was just kind of like a rectangle but this one I don't know if I should try it on this one you put it over your head and you can see you twist it then it's got a tag and then at the front that's such a genius idea and then your hair is all put together and your towel's not gonna fall off oh that is just very clever it's beautiful really lovely so i'll leave this down below as well and um, the one i have because i'd really highly recommend their products because it's kind of like if you invest into a silk pillow for your hair invest into this for your hair as well it's incredible <gasps> another brand that i still pinch myself every time i open a box from charlotte tilbury like who gets some boxes not me oh wow 
This is like a like a little skin care top up. So I've got the magic, the magic night cream, the magic night cream refill charge. Ooh, oh that's clever. Sorry, I have to see this now. Oh wow. Okay, so they've basically created a lot to add into your capsules. That's amazing. Oh, that's so exciting. Also got the eye cream to help reduce your eyes and also a refill one as well. This is super clever. And then I'm thinking this is the day cream. Yeah. If you haven't already and you are looking for a skincare brand, Charlotte Tilbury is really good. I just think all her products are just, she nails it. She's nailed all of them. That's amazing. But yeah, that is everything I've received. So now what I'm going to do is put all my recycling away <laughs> yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit like a lot of noise goes on with my vlogs recently and today is the crows but Nespresso has sent me this incredible coffee haven bundle of goodies so we have as you can see the Nespresso Virtuo Plus in the cream and we have some lovely mugs coffee travel cup some syrups some a variety and an abundance of coffee capsules ones i've spotted vanilla custard pie hazelnut muffin oh my goodness and then a coffee fruffer from nespresso these these will change your life oh my goodness so i'm gonna set this up now they've also actually sent me over a nespresso personalization um marker which is really cool but yeah i'm gonna set this up and then give you a little tour Um, I wanted to film making a coffee with the new coffee machine today so kind of got carried away with all the cleaning but I actually might put some of them down here because we've got quite a lot of room back here um, and I can put some of these in the gin, the drinking cabinet. Just trying to have a little think of where I could put things just to have a bit more space. Okay, that works. I think that's all right for now, actually. I'll keep those ones down there and then we can keep those there. I've also got the, the syrups. So I think I'm going to, oh my goodness. They're so cute, but that's perfect. They can actually sit just in front, very, neatly that's all have got some really nice mugs which is exciting so i'll open these up so we have two of these really lovely mugs here with some really cute spoons and then a really nice takeaway coffee mug which will be perfect for when i go for morning walks so that is amazing so i'm gonna do a little clear up and then i think i'll make a coffee okay i think our little kitchen needs a little cleanse little detox but this is the final outcome of what it looks like it is super cute um so we have the nespresso i don't know actually how it works i should have probably should probably look at the ingredient the reasons like the way how to use it <laughs> gonna get my words out then but it looks like oh there we go you tap it and that goes in oh okay let's try that again okay so you press down and then you put a capsule in it and then you push that down 
and then you press that button here and then it comes out here you refill the water this is a milk frother this is the cooling method just here frothy i think that's the small full cup small oh flat small large and then i've just used our coffee um jar to put in some coffee pods and um these are the peru ones oh these are the organic peru ones and then as you've seen so that looks like a really nice setup it's quite a busy thing in comparison to what we had with the smeg i'm going to keep the smeg in the attic for now i don't want to get rid of it because it's my absolute favorite thing um but yeah that looks actually really lovely and then i've put some of the coffee things up here with the the flavors and then down here i might move them back I think I will actually move them back, but we've got the coffee bits in here, the takeaway cups, and the little A, which is really cute. So um, I think I might make myself a coffee. I think the vlog has seen you, so. No, so the vlog hasn't seen me. It's been a while, guys. Hello. Hi. We are just done some shoots. We are now on the way to Orphan Smile, where we both got our beautiful noshes done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, when you edit that. Ding, ding. <laughs> Put glitter on it. Um, and we're gonna do like some videos and photos and Q&A, talking about our beautiful team. I mean, I'm not. She's, I'm not doing she's that. She's the background behind I'm, the scenes. I'm doing the, the camera team. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna go to there now and see Dr. Tina and Samira. So this should be in another video. I'll link it down below wherever it's gonna be. But we'll see you in a bit. Hello. Oh, that was not me. <laughs> Hello guys, and um, welcome back to another day. It is Thursday now. I don't actually know when the last time I picked up the camera. Um, actually, I think it was yesterday. I did my dentist content with Sarah and the dentist's dentist, well, Dr. Tina and Dr. Samira. But I have been very excitedly invited to go and have a treatment done. Let me just go and confirm the actual, um, kind of like the details of it before I make an absolute fool of myself. So today I've been invited to Lanzerhof at the Arts Club, which is kind of, um, I get off at Greens Park. And they've invited me for an infusion appointment. And if you don't know what an infusion appointment is, it's one of those, I guess, the best probably way people probably commonly know about this treatment is those like vitamin drips. You know, when people get on a drip to like be infused with like hyaluronic acid, vitamins and all beautiful things like that. So today I am on my way to go and trial it out basically i'm actually gonna go back to h&m i don't know if i showed you anything but i went to h&m yesterday and i picked up some bits and i just didn't like them so i'm going to take that bag with me as well i'm a bit skeptical of the weather it does look a little bit gloomy but i think it's going to be quite warm in like central central so i've gone for quite a chilled look just in my oversized um shirt from zara this is just like a pinstripe shirt white jeans and my Fendi sandals and then my new little Lou. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I don't know if I've even spoken about her either, but I'm doing some work with a company called Secret Sales. Um and they just they said to pick out a bag and I think I've gone for a very cute choice. I'll leave it. If I can find any similar I will leave it down below. But I am absolutely smitten and the quality of it is incredible. So yeah so that's my outfit of the day and yeah i'm gonna do that come back and then i've got so much editing so much editing and admin to do and then i think i'm gonna cook helena and i a roast dinner because we have lots of vegetables and you know what when it gets to this time of year where it slowly starts getting a little bit colder all i crave is like winter food so this morning i had my porridge what else have i done today oh, i had a tuna salad today but i just crave like i haven't had a roast dinner in a while so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I've just got my hair up as well. I think I'm going to do a treatment tonight. House is out for dinner. Yeah, just kind of like a sorting myself out kind of day. 
got a bit more of an exciting day tomorrow so that will be a bit more eventful but yeah let's head to go and get this infusion done firstly i need to clarify with you guys do i have i heart coffee on my forehead elizabeth arden have sent over their retinol ceramide um capsules which is incredible and along that they've sent over some coffee so we've got some normal grind coffee and some decaf and also the one thing i'm very excited for is this a French press. I love French press coffee. So that is incredible. And I think it's one of the ones you can take on the go, which I think is just really lovely. And I love the color. I think I need to go through all my stuff. I might have to just take some bits of bobs and charity to clean my cupboards out. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning. And I'm very excited to give this a go. So thank you very, very much to Elizabeth Arden. <music> Good morning guys, starting off the day with a little VIP meeting with Fennec, Fennec, Fenwick, um, they have kindly invited me down to their store on New Bond Street to go and have a little VIP personal styling, try on some new exciting winter bits and bobs um, which would be really lovely. So yeah, I haven't actually been in the store, I've heard a lot about it, more so the fact like it's quite a um, kind of like a really a uh, magical place of like it used to be quite an old school kind of like shopping hall apparently it's absolutely stunning um so i will take you guys with me unfortunately i'm not shooting with my lovely friend chloe today because she is poorly but that's fine because that gives me another bit to just kind of sort myself out and um yeah just work on what i want to do for next week and then tonight i'm off for dinner with one of my best friends jessica and we're gonna go around zara in stone square um, which will also be lovely as well. So I'm wearing a bit of a summery outfit. I feel like I just, I'm gonna do it. Um, it's still quite like humid and muggy, especially on the tubes. But basically this is my outfit today. So I'm wearing just my new look dress, which I just absolutely love. And I feel like I can just get away with it because it is long. And then I've just paired it with my Fendi sandals and my new Louis Vuitton bag, which I haven't taken off because it's just such a handy day bag. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I've actually curled my hair with a straightener and I really like it. Did a little test this today. So I've been testing out the Dyson and today I tested out the irons just to see what I prefer um, and also as well get used to them. I feel like with hair tools you need to like keep practicing. So today I thought I'd do the straighteners because I don't actually have anywhere well anything to shoot today um but yeah i thought it was quite nice and a little bit more of like an undone look which is nice and then my fendi sunnies so a very autumnal summer look but yeah let's go to fenwick <laughs> ready to go out i'm actually gonna go out a little bit earlier um just feeling very quite rough to be frank so yeah i'm gonna go out a little bit earlier maybe just move around to some more shops other than zara just to just look around get out of the house i feel like i just need to get out of the house today i've just got massive anxiety but long story short this is my outfit for this evening i'm not too sure how hot it's gonna be but I'm going to be in the evening now. So I'm wearing my Zara boots. <laughs> I'm literally wearing all Zara. Zara Zara Bermuda shorts, which are just so comfy and just actually really nice for this time of year. I actually am pending to get a Zara order um, with some leather shorts in this style as well. So that's really exciting. 
and then a Zara cami top with some Monica Veneda jewellery and then I've got a black blazer and then I think I'm going to pair it with my Lou bag because I just apparently cannot get enough of it and it just has everything I can fit in it like my camera, my charger so it's safe and sound and ready to go and yeah I'm really happy with how my hair has been looking with the straighteners I'm really in <laughs> I'm really gonna enjoy in this like undone look. So I'm gonna keep going with it and I'm gonna try tomorrow as well. It's giving quite a lot of time. I'm gonna give that a go tomorrow as well. I've just topped up my makeup. It's just like my everyday makeup and just feeling super glowy. And I've put on Pillow Talk lipstick, which is just my absolute favourite. And then, yeah, just normal jewellery. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop it to the shops and just have a little mooch around because I'm just giving myself so much anxiety recently and there is no reason for it really i just i just don't know what's wrong with me but anyway i'm gonna head out now and just get over this move hello guys i didn't film our zara excursion because it was busy but you got your bits and bobs that <laughs> just went shopping i'm with jessica look at her we're off to i can never say the name it's called cinquento pizza um, and it's kind of like behind like King's Road area. Um, we're doing a little day night, aren't we? Yes, we are. And it's so lovely. It's still warm outside. Both of us have never been here, so we'll give a little guided tour of our experience and what we eat. I'm excited. I haven't had a pizza in a very long time. Get a gin and tonic. And a gin and tonic. Yeah, we're both in definite need for gin and tonic. So we'll see you when we're in brighter spirits after our gin. <laughs> Oh, wow! <laughs> Little free and vegan, but we got our pizza! Stunning! Stunning! Cheers, babes! Cheers! Cheers. Good morning, guys. I have woken up hungover, which was not the plan. I actually didn't even drink that much. I had a gin and tonic at a bar whilst we were waiting for our table. And then we had two spritzers, like these like limoncello spritzers. And I feel horrendous. Like, to be fair, I wasn't planning to drink, so maybe it's like karma. Like, Mila, you weren't supposed to drink. You were supposed to do quite a lot this morning. But yeah, <laughs> I woke up feeling absolute crap. But we moved. I'm going to do a quick workout. I was going to go for a run, but I get a bit anxious, a bit nervous running at this time in the morning because it's like 8.30. I feel like everyone's gonna be up. I don't know if to just run, but I'm hungover, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel running. So I'm gonna do a quick Kira London workout. She does like these 30 minute ones. I have the app and it's actually quite good. Gonna do that. And then I'm going to clean the bathrooms whilst I'm in my gym wear, maybe Hoover. And then I'm gonna film a video for Iconic because I wasn't 100% sure on the video I did previously, so I might do the one again. And I'm gonna head and go and see India and Pia, which would be really lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get it all done in two and a half hours. Also, before I quickly show you my pajamas in my dusty mirror, which needs a cleaning before the parents arrive. I feel like I need to blitz the house before my parents arrive just to prove that I am an independent woman and I've got my life together. <laughs> this week I definitely do not have my life together. But this pajama set is, oh my god, the crow's hit. Um, pajama set is from Emma Wallace. Absolutely adore it. I'll leave it down below. Super comfortable. Absolutely. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm going to change out of this now, get my PJs on, get my PJs on, um, get my gym wear on, yeah, just do a workout. It's 8.30, I've been lying in since 7.30, because I've just been feeling absolute rubbish. But I need to get up, had paracetamol, I've had a coffee, my voice is so croaky. But hopefully getting out, doing some work, just moving will make me feel better. I have done it, I have succeeded. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? I was just actually messaging Jess and we were saying, what the hell? She woke up at 10 like, did someone spike us? This is literally our question. Um, we actually think it was the limoncello. She had a good point. When I asked what the spritz was, she was like, it's a double limoncello shot with Prosecco. <gasps> That's what's killed me over. I had two of them and I'm not good with Prosecco. Why did I think this was such a good idea? Drinking Prosecco and Lemoncello together. Oh my goodness. Okay, makeup's done, hair's done. 
wearing an outfit from Pretty Little Lavish, it's just a play suit. Got my cleaning stuff out and my makeup stuff out because when I come home, I'm gonna remove this makeup and do another makeup look um, and film it. I'm being very productive today. And um, also cleaning the house for when my parents come. So I have 10 minutes, 15 minutes before I need to head out the door. So I'm gonna do a little spruce in here um, and get myself ready and um, yeah, head out the door to go and have some brunch. Yum! <laughs> Hey birthday girl! Hello! <laughs> Hello guys, so I have just got myself ready. I don't know if my nose looks actually quite bizarre. I don't know, I think I need to put a darker lipstick on. I can't find, I have this lipstick by MAC that I absolutely love. I just can't find it anywhere. My hair is huge which i just absolutely love i just don't know what this straightener is doing to my hair but i thought by like clamping it it would have less volume but oh my goodness the volume of my hair it just looks wild but i kind of like it it's kind of like a an undone curl what do you guys think um i have my outfit on i've planned I've sorted the house out, everywhere looks prepped, everywhere looks clean for the approval of my parents. <laughs> um, and I've just got myself ready. So I'm actually wearing what I wore in Spain, but I'm gonna wear it with a pair of boots and a blazer. So whilst the whilst we have a little bit of summer left, I thought I might as well use and abuse this outfit because I really enjoyed wearing this outfit. So this scarf is from Arquette, pair of shorts, and I'm gonna pair it with a black blazer my black Zara boots and I think I'm going to take out my little clothes just a bit more night out um I have a feeling actually my mum is wearing heels so I don't know if she would actually prefer if I wore heels I'm not too sure I need to find this I wonder if it's this I'm not too sure I don't know I don't know what my makeup's doing um but yeah I've just prepped and primed oh my god that lighting is horrible just prepped and primed the house which is all good I've done some ironing which is lovely jubbly and um yeah i've just sorted the house out which is really nice laurie is on his way also um and i've just set some canned candles up bought some crisps bought some olives everyone's on their way everyone should be like arriving in the 10 minutes or so so that'll be really nice so what i'm gonna do actually is find this lipstick because that's going to annoy me that is better so i'm using spice on my lips by MAC and I just absolutely love it. I've just done my normal makeup. Oh, I feel like I, if I don't wear that colour on my face, I just look really plain. I don't know why. Oh, I'm so excited for my family to come. This is actually the first time, I don't know if I've said this, this is the first time my brother and Mina have seen my place. So I'm like, eek! And also my dad's only moved me in, which was in December. So all very bizarre, but it's just I'm so happy and very excited and um, yeah. I'll show you some clips, hopefully, um, of tonight. Currently hiding a pair of crisps whilst I show you the kind of aesthetics of my house. I'm just so obsessed. I literally just did a little story like this. And then I just went into here and it's, oh, I love my house so much. Absolutely adore it, but I've just set this up, put the crisps back down. Um, this is going to be for olives, olive pips. The shampoos and the crisps. I've got my little area kind of a little bit pulled out. Um, and I've got a Jo Malone. This is um, Myrrh and Tonka. Oh my goodness, this smell is just phenomenal. Some lemons in there. Um, and yeah, I just think that looks really lovely. Got some candles going over there. Oh, I just love my place so much. I honestly, I, I, I was saying it actually to my friends earlier. When I came back from my holiday, I literally was just like, I love my home. It just has the most beautiful feel. It's just so lovely in here. Oh God, I can get set, I can get emotional about this. I absolutely love it that much. Um, you can see I'm waiting for my family to turn up. But yeah, I just love it so much. It's just how I've manifested and journaled what I wanted from a home. And this is like, this is it. This is it. I'm in here, I might actually do some little change ups in here. Firstly, this print. I think I want to go for a darker colour. Maybe even just like a darker burn colour of that orange would look stunning. 
or maybe like a really nice foresty print. So I'm gonna see on their website to see if there's anything like that. Also, happy with pretty much everything else. This area, I think I wanna give a bit more color to it. Maybe a dark pillow, maybe two pi like rectangle pillows here. I think that would look beautiful. Um, so let me know what you guys think. But other than that, I'm really happy with the space. The Christmas tree, this is our situation. Where's Christmas tree gonna go? Maybe the Christmas tree can go here. That could be quite a really sweet little spot. Or in the corner over there? I don't know. Oh my God, it's so exciting. Good morning guys! My family have all just left um, and Laurie as well. Laurie's actually gone back to see his mum and he's actually got physio in the morning so it kind of works out to go see his mum and have Cairo back at home. So yeah everyone's just left, we had a really nice breakfast, went for a walk and showed them around my area and yeah it was such a lovely evening. The food was phenomenal, I will leave all the video clips um, from last night, we didn't actually go on our phones, which was beautiful. I was like to my mum this morning, we haven't taken any photos, and it's like a shame, but at the same time, it just proves that sometimes you're just not on your phone, which is just the loveliest. Um, currently making a little smoothie bowl. I had a savoury breakfast, and every time I have a savoury breakfast, I just crave sugar. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, it was so lovely. I even didn't take pictures of the champagne or anything, but. Um, I got some beautiful flowers, first up from Mina and Harvey, how stunning, because like I said this is the first time they've actually been to the house, um, so this was in a, a moving in flower bouquet and they are just incredible. And then I've got all my, I'm literally I'm ready to sit here, this is where I'm going to be sitting today, laptop, diary, candle is lit, that is L'Occitane, um, rose and something i'll have a look tv's about to come on but mummy got me some lovely sunflowers which usually i wouldn't like but actually they are so uplifting they're lovely um but yeah i'm just making a quick smoothie bowl because that is what i'm craving <laughs> eleanor's arrived back home reunited and we've just made the roast dinner, which we both just said it's been a hot minute that we've eaten this together. Oh, exciting news! We're going to Lille! Well, oh France. Is Lille? it Lille? Lille. 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 We're going, Helena and Amelia, take, take, France. take France. And this is happening in November, which is very exciting. Her parents are making a very important journey to France. A What's that? A homage. Homage. <laughs> to get wine. And I've been invited slash they need me <laughs> to bring more wine back. Yeah. And I'm here for it. I will be used like that. I will happily use that. But anyway, I'm going to end of the vlog here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.